Okay, so welcome back. So we're now looking at text B. This is about the Anglo-American Corporation. Um, as you remember, the first text was about South Africa. Uh, this text is on a, a reasonably similar theme. It's um, Anglo-American is the largest company in South Africa. So you can see the connection between the two. This connection will, of course, be important for task C, the synthesis task, where we need to take information from both texts. Well, we'll get to that later. Okay, so let's take a look at the answers to the five questions from this text. Okay, so number one. Apart from politics, what is one way that the Anglo-American corporation's history is closely linked to the development of the South African nation? Okay, so what have we got in this question? Okay, we've got the history of the company, the Anglo-American corporation, and there's a link, a connection, to the development of South Africa. So these two things have connections. There's things that are common to both of them. All right, and what's the question asking? Okay, well, one of these connections is politics. But when we see these words, apart from, it means we don't want you to give the example of politics. We want you to give one different way. Okay, so let's look at the paragraph. Okay, the story of the company closely tied to the emergence of South Africa as a nation. Closely tied, closely linked. You see that? Okay. The company's fortunes were, continue to be, intertwined with, I'll play closely linked to, intertwined with, similar meanings, South African politics. Okay, so we said we didn't want politics. Apart from politics, what is one thing? So if you write all of this, then you've, you've given the wrong answer because we didn't want the example of politics. We want one of the other things. And of course, social structure is one correct answer. And overall economic development is another. So you've got a choice of two. But if you include politics, you're giving the wrong answer because we said we don't want you to give that example. That's what apart from means. Okay. And let's also consider this for question number two, which is in the next paragraph. Where we said other than, where we said apart from, sorry, other than has a similar meaning. So, apart from politics, other than trying to hide the company's German origins. What is one reason? Okay, so again, these have a similar meaning, apart from and other than. So, we want you to give a reason for the Oppenheimer's choice of the Anglo-American name. We want you to give a reason, but we don't want you to give this reason. Okay, so, okay, we've got Oppenheimer, we see his name here. When did he create the company? Okay, the family were born in Germany. All right, German origins. So we know that the company started from somebody who was German. Anglo-American's name was chosen. The choice of the name we see in the question. The name was chosen to disguise its German background. Now. Remember in question one, we didn't want the example of politics. Here, we don't want you to give this as part of your answer. So, if you write that, you're wrong, because all you're doing is repeating the question. You're not answering the question. What is one reason other than this? So, uh, and, this will give you a big clue, so this is the other reason. The original suggestion, African American, was unacceptable to US investors. Okay, so be careful not to repeat the question. It's an easy mistake to make, okay? Because you see, ah, oh, German origins, German background, ah, that must be the answer. No, it isn't. That's just repeating the information in the question. Be careful, okay? And remember this up here, apart from other than. These, have, these are basically the same thing, okay? They have the same meaning. It means we don't want you to give the example we give in the question. Give a different example. Okay, on to question number three. Uranium. Okay, 1950s. Got a good time marker here. Oh, 1958, 1958, 1950s. Okay. All right, 1940s, 30s. Look, there's some chronology here. Chronological order to the text. So, we've got a good idea from the, the year that this is the right paragraph. And uranium is a fairly unusual word. So if we can find uranium in a paragraph, then we know we're doing okay. There we go, uranium. Uranium. 
Alright, so we know we're in the right place. Okay. Uranium mining. Okay. The word here is strike. So strike, mean, in this sense, means to find something in the ground. So you can strike oil. You find oil in the ground. You can strike gold, which means you, know, you find gold in the ground. In this case, the company struck uranium. So this had an effect on the company's relationship with world nations during the Cold War era. What was this effect? How did it affect them? And, okay, this is the best answer here. It complicated the relations of all major powers with South Africa during the Cold War, okay? Because every country wanted this uranium, but the situation in South Africa wasn't very good. Okay, on to number four. Okay, apartheid. Um, this is a word, again, thinking of the chronology of the text, this only apartheid policy of the government only started at this time. So it's not mentioned before. So this word's really going to help you to locate the correct information in the text. All right, so South Africa began calling the institutional separation of races apartheid in the 1930s. All right. So, actually, for this one, this is quite a very non-specific question. How did it influence the company's position in South Africa? Um, and there's quite a few answers here. Okay, it put the anger in an awkward position, yes. It was sensitive to being associated with a government becoming an international pariah. No other countries liked the South African government, so the company didn't want to be connected to them. Also, the domestic difficulties obliged the company to look outside South Africa. Yep, that's an answer. Anglo invested in mines in all these different countries. So it started to do business in different countries. Okay, so this question is a pretty good question because it gives you lots of different possible answers. One, two, three, four different possible answers. All right, on to finally question number five. Okay. This is um, a reasonably straightforward gap fill. The only reason it's difficult is because you had to get right the way all through the text to the final paragraph to find it. Okay, so the fact, headquarters are in London. That's a specific piece of information. It is listed on the London Stock Exchange. Again, two specific pieces of information here. You can't find these in many different paragraphs. Oh, look, there it is. One, two. Indicate that Anglo-American is now more something than something. All right, we've got that grammatical structure there. So there are your answers, British than African. Don't mix them up. It has to go in that order, British than African. Okay? All right, that's the answers to text two, the second text, text B. Okay, please come back and we'll take a look at the synthesis task. All right, bye for now.